Welcome to this podcast. It's us again. You know who we are. <laughs> Hello. The cool kids. <laughs> got Allison are you? The beautiful Allison are you? And Twins Inc. <laughs> the beautiful Twins Inc. And me, Judgmental Critter. <laughs> <laughs> I really expect you to say twin sync. She looks okay. <laughs> She's alright. <laughs> alright, this so is so exciting. We can see each other for the first time we can. in one of these podcasts. We're doing something a little different. You are not gonna see anything because we're all shy and don't want you to see our faces yet. But we can yeah. see each other. <laughs> oh everyone got a drink of coffee, I should join. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just <laughs> silence in our podcast while we all drink coffee simultaneously. This is going to yeah, be exciting. We also all have coffee. We're going to try and not, like, audibly gulp our coffee. Just but if loudly. you hear any clattering sounds, that's what that is. Yeah. So Also, the kids next door to me are, uh, they have today off and, and they're having a great time. So if We you can't hear, hear it. So okay, good. You, Excellent. Just don't mention the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, if you hear the sound of frolicking, that is not ambient uh, FNAF related frolicking noises. Uh, uh. <laughs> so Security Breach just came out. And, uh, and I want to talk about theories because I had many ideas, but no way to like articulate my thoughts. So we're just gonna talk huh. about random FNAF theories. So welcome. <laughs> Should we perhaps mention off the bat that spoilers ahead. Yes, full of course. We're going yes. to talk about the end of the game. Yep. Everything. So <laughs> We'll be so. talking about all the endings, all the secrets. Yep. So yeah. if you haven't played yet, or if you haven't watched someone else play, then go do so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I really wanted to make sure we got our this podcast done before MatPat made any official videos about it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like didn't he, he did make his a let's video? play. He yeah, like he's got his his let's play up, but I don't think he's got like a theory. I think he's just got his billing in. Th- the final timeline <laughs> yeah, video. Yeah, yeah. I see. I see. I saw something pop up in my recommended. Um, and I thought it was that, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was something else. Uh. <laughs> so does any? I don't watch his shit. <laughs> yeah, we didn't watch it regardless. So, um, if if Matt Pat did make a theory on FNAF, we didn't watch it yeah. or haven't been influenced by that. Yes. So we're, we're just... coming in with a clean slate. This is our yeah. dumb thoughts. So yes. Does anybody have any thoughts? <laughs> Unfiltered they want to start into with? your ears. <laughs> yeah. How unfortunate for you. I have I have a thing I want to say. It's not a theory necessarily, Go but I'm I'm upset. Go for Do it. it. So Do previously, it. a couple uh, years ago, um, Allison helped me with a video, uh, <laughs> a, a FNAF theory video, and the that main crux fun. of the video is that we theorized that um, William Afton, aka the Purple Guy was not Springchap, but instead, that was his son, Michael, or how I like to call him, Eggs Benedict. (laughs) (laughs) And that uh, Purple Guy was actually being metaphorically represented with Golden Freddy. Um, I really liked that video. I thought it was really smart. It's a great video. I thought you hit the nail on the head. Flawless theory. <laughs> Except that security breach kind of ruins it. Yeah. <laughs> it the a flawless trap... theory that's definitely not canon. But it was a yeah, great the theory. The moment Springtrap comes out of his little pod and then mm-hmm. like all the lights turn purple. Mm-hmm. And yeah. He's got purple lighting. And, like, and so it's like, oops. Fuck. <laughs> well, and he's like openly evil. He's like, ha, 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 yeah. I always and, come back. And yeah, and like, he's Ow! like controlling you with his purple eyes and it's like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> So, I'm going, I want to just choose to believe that our theory is still um, correct. <laughs> um, <laughs> just ignore canon. And it's easy for me to, it's easy for me to say that it's like, well, um, a different company made this one, so they they, they just don't know all the secrets. <laughs> so, I see, I see. They they weren't aware of the long game, but we were. We saw through yes. the code. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We saw. We, <laughs> no, you're the crazy ones. We. <laughs> so, so while we're on, I think he's called Burnt Trap in this one. Uh, 
It's just still him. Yeah. I, I don't even I come hate, up with a new okay. name. <laughs> I love FNAF and I love the theories, but the way the community names things drives me so holy every, up the wall. Every every time it's, it's like every like, time your friends oh, change it's their cool, outfit. It's trap. Ooh, burnt <laughs> trap. Ooh, uh, slightly off color trap. <laughs> it's like stop. It's I, one like, guy. I get- I get coming up with different names for, like, the different iterations of, like, Freddy, mm-hmm. you know? Like, Funtime Freddy and any of the other ones, you know? <laughs> that makes sense because they're, like, yeah. they're, they're new, they're new characters, but, like, Molten Freddy is just one of them but burned, mm-hmm. and it's, like, then <laughs> yeah. it's just that one again. <laughs> we exactly. Don't, we don't... It's not a new character, so we don't need a new name for it. It's like if if you called, like, when Goku was a kid and had a monkey tail versus Goku being an adult, and you just yeah. come like, that's baby Goku, oh. and this is adult Goku. It's like, no, it's still Goku. This is, <laughs> we can just call him Goku. This is, this is Halo Goku. Yeah. <laughs> it's we're... like how every fandom has a lot of fun coming up with, like, um, crack ship names. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah. that doesn't necessarily mean that they should ship those ships they're just having fun Mm -hmm. it's like FNAF FNAF's fandom gets to do that with just like everything that they see (laughs) if they perceive it it has a silly name Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) um while we're on burnt trap I have actually heard a a thing a theory I suppose about him so the theory goes that they decommissioned Bonnie so then he can get his outfit his uh like Bonnie suit again because it burnt down and then they needed a new one. So that's why they got rid oh, of Bonnie. Oh, like, like that's like he was like, I'm gonna just put myself into Bonnie now mm-hmm. so then I can. Mm-hmm. Hey, hmm. Oh, an interesting idea. I don't think he really needs a suit at this point. Well, yeah. how else is he gonna shamble around? You know, <laughs> with his, his teeth. <laughs> Have you seen how much teeth? At, he has? That's another thing. Also, so I. Uh, I think it might be a good idea to, if we're gonna have, like, free-roaming games like this f- for the future, okay, that's cool, fine, um, but <laughs> if Springtrap is gonna be an element, he needs to be able to move. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> like, I'm very disappointed like, that he doesn't. <laughs> him being an ashen, crispy corpse that can barely hobble forward? Yeah. Okay, that's not scary. <laughs> I can run away from that <laughs> easily. He, the, like, I don't know. I, and it's not like they could go back and just make him like, oh, he's got more flesh now, magically. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he could be more metal than man. I don't know. But this thing of him just permanently deteriorating is making him less of a threat. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when you sit I there had... and rationalize zombies, it's like they wouldn't run. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like... I had expressed um, a sadness that I wish that you had to go down to see Springtrap sooner um, yeah. because I wish that once you did so um, that it would activate sort of a Mr. X style stalker mode. Hell yes. And that he would slowly <laughs> follow you throughout the pizzeria. Yeah. Um, that sounds Because awesome. <laughs> that sounds very fun. And I'm, I don't know. I'm just sad that you kind of underutilized the scariest character in your franchise. Yeah, like, Cause hide the I gotta be honest, behind the others, game. not scary. No, no. <laughs> um, Chica maybe the scary when the she moon? loses her beak, but other than that, she's yeah. not. Oh, Chica's... the the little the little thing in the vents. That's not fun. <gasps> oh what is gosh. that guy? What's what's Music that guy's man. FNAF name? Music, Music man. man. Music man. <laughs> yeah, and then we got DJ Music Man. I like which Music is Man. My favorite part. <laughs> Of the whole game. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So those are different characters. Music Man and DJ Music Man. Yeah, yeah uh, well, one's little. Yeah. And the other one's not little. One's little. I didn't Spider realize guy. that they were the same character. They looked very different to me. <laughs> if you look at their faces, they are like, they got this, the like, same face. Like, clacking ah, teeth thing going on. I was <laughs> distracted <laughs> by the legs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, saw I guess it makes sense. The other one was kind of crawling around all spider-like, too. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I Okay. Yeah. I saw a tweet like a couple weeks ago where someone was like, I get the appeal of all of the animatronics on like an in universe level, but what's the appeal of Music Man? What kid would be like charmed by this? And I'm like, You kidding me? Look at him. Are you he's kidding awesome. me? His teeth are he's he's a keyboard. So cool. <laughs> he's a giant uh, uh, spider boy. Uh, uh. <laughs> 
sounds great. I mean, I guess if you think about it, you know, a lot of old school toys and animatronics to us are scary. Like, yeah. like, mm-hmm. like, you know, in the third Harry Potter, when uh, they're doing uh, ridiculous tests, yeah, yeah, and yeah. some kid turns turns something spooky into like a. Uh, yeah, like Jack in the Box. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And it's it's so scary. And they're all like, ha, 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 ha. And I'm like, that's not funny. That's fucking, that's scarier than what you were dealing with. <laughs> yeah. So maybe yeah, it's kind of like real. that, you know? <laughs> There's a secondhand store near us that sells, like, it, it primarily books and music, but it also has, like, old trinkets and toys and stuff. And yeah. uh, uh, it sells some antique toys. And um, maybe this is uh, hypocritical of me because I collect porcelain dolls. Um, like a but, cool kid. <laughs> uh, uh, it has um, the most terrifying selection of toys I've ever seen. <laughs> and they're labeled cursed toys, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. It says it has a little disclaimer on it of like, if you bring home one of these toys, we're not responsible for you, like, bringing home any spirits. Cute. <laughs> silly. That's cute and silly. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Like, even just, like, you know, Furbies, you know, nowadays. Oh, yeah. Like, our gender, <laughs> like, I'm still charmed by Furbies. But, like, kids, if they, like, if they saw the original Furby design, they'd be like, what's with the yeah. eyes? Why is yeah. it like I think that? they're cute, but I could understand someone being creeped out by a Furby. So I get yeah. the appeal of Music Man, 100%. Yeah. Me, that is one thing. <laughs> Matt Pat, I do know this. I may not be watching his videos much anymore, but Matt Pat also loves Music Man. There's a compilation of him being just in love with Music Man. <laughs> it helps that I, I think you'd have so to be a good. bad person. <laughs> Actively <laughs> calling out anyone who doesn't like Music Man. I'm sorry to break it to you. You, you just, are, in fact, a bad person. You're not invited <laughs> to the party anymore if you don't like Music Man. Not, sorry. They don't get a dance to his funky cool groove yeah, yeah, yeah. my fact, favorite part not is sarcasm <laughs> my my favorite part is the very final like stretch um where you turn on the uh the generator in the attic yeah, yeah. whatever it is <laughs> and then you have to run away from him as shit falls from the ceiling and it's got yeah, his music, music his soundtrack adds his soundtrack adds a siren mm-hmm. to it so like it's just oh just good <laughs> <laughs> I love Music Man. We've we've drifted away from it. This is no longer a theory okay, podcast. Yeah. This is just We're I love just Music talking Man about podcast. FNAF. <laughs> yeah. Um, I had a weird little theory. Uh, I don't have much uh, in terms of like proof or anything. Um, mm-hmm. I think Sun and Moon is two different animatronics. I don't think it's one animatronic changing it to the other one. I think they're two separate entities. Why? Because how? Because Sun has five fingers and Moon only has four. In like their official models, and there's this thing, and it might just be a glitch because the game is a bit glitchy. But it's, it's <laughs> a little. You know, several. There are several points in time when you're with Glamrock Freddy and uh, Moon shows up, the daycare attendant's on the loose yeah. again, while you're mm-hmm. on your next mm-hmm. adventure. If you yeah. during those times, if you go back to the daycare. Sun will, because you're not allowed to go back in, Sun will still right, pop yeah. out and be like... He's still top... Security alert, security mm. alert. So I think there is... Actually, I think there are two animatronics. Because I think that makes mm. more sense than having a weirdly right. bipolar animatronic. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Also, can I just say that the daycare attendant, Sun and Moon, they are not used... Nearly enough. <laughs> I thought they were super interesting. Daycare section is is a fun, like, tense section. I thought Sun already was, like, unnerving, and I didn't like him. And he's like, don't turn off the light. And I'm like, yeah, so either turning fun. off the light will either make it better or worse. <laughs> it made it worse. And it's like, I miss the sun guy. So, and, and then they just stop. Like, the moon shows up every hour to be like, <laughs> as you walk five feet to the nearest electropod. Yeah. And it's like, dumb, boring, bad. We have to deal with Chica screeching <laughs> and Roxy talking about how I don't have friends for, like, the whole last game. How come sun and moon don't get to play more? <laughs> yeah. I understand. Yeah, keeping, I agree. No, no They're very cool. <laughs> mm-hmm. I understand keeping like not every like because like Music Man also doesn't get too much to do. Not everyone can I be guess, major well, players. I suppose. That's true. <laughs> I guess. Here's the thing. This isn't a theory. I'm upset about it. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it the puppet in this game? 
Okay. Like, the puppet's kind of important. Why is it in this game anywhere? Why? Maybe it is Give me somewhere. the puppet. We just haven't found it yet. Maybe. Did you? <laughs> like, I'm sure... I think you can find, like, background, like, kids have made, like, toy, like, paper yeah. cutout mm-hmm. toys mm-hmm. of the puppet. There are some plushies. Um... Yeah, yeah there, there are plushies lying around, but it's like, that's such a large element of the grander story. So where's the fucking puppet? You know something <laughs> oh, I didn't well, know that I found out, like, it's three days ago that blew my fucking mind? Let's, let's hear it. <laughs> the puppet's in Lefty from- Yeah. I didn't know that. I looked up, like, Ugh. like animatron- like, uh, the animations from the AR game, which I downloaded and mm-hmm. then immediately deleted because it was not fun. But I was looking up the animations, <laughs> and then fucking Lefty is there, and I'm like, I love Lefty. Lefty's great. And then the marionette just peeks his head, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> He's- what? <laughs> He's in Yeah, Lefty was, um, was made to capture the puppet. I never knew! Um, <laughs> You can, it, it's, his name is an acronym, and that kind of alludes to that as well. In the final cutscene, you can see a picture of Lefty, um, uh, sitting outside the pizzeria as it's burning, and if you look at his shoulder, you can see, like, a little bit of the puppet's arm in his, uh, in his shoulder. Uh. So, yeah, that's another thing. Where the fuck is Lefty? Why introduce Lefty and then just not, like, even r- without the puppet element, Lefty's such a unique and interesting, like, concept that it's like, why wouldn't you put him in the next game? Because <laughs> yeah, I still have, like, well, L okay. chip. And Mr. Hippo. <laughs> so gonna, where's the rest gonna, of the Mary Gonna Mallory? bust in here. <laughs> because <laughs> because if this game takes place um, in chronological order from what we've already seen, then the reason why we haven't seen Lefty or the puppet is because they've been burned. Because but that doesn't because stop they all, anything. <laughs> they, well, well, because the guy who made Lefty, I don't remember his name, the... Um, Afton's business partner, um, yeah, the one we'll who call burned him. everything down. Yeah. Um, uh, we'll call him Bill. He, <laughs> Bill, sure. Yeah. He he yeah. specifically made Lefty to capture the puppet so that he could set everyone free. So it makes sense that in like franchising terms for like the company that they would remake some of like the cute quirky characters. But they have no reason to remake Lefty when his entire purpose was to capture a thing that no longer exists. Mm. No, that's dumb and boring. <laughs> <laughs> like, Do we? that's a sound argument, but I'm thinking about this as a video game, and I'm like, but I want the interesting reoccurring characters. <laughs> I want Ennard to come back as well, you know? That's another <laughs> thing. What I actually really want, now that, oh, Springtrap really is Purple Guy and my theory's wrong, <laughs> I want I want a, a horrible corpse um, like, human transmutation in Fullmetal Alchemist-esque <laughs> Eggs Benedict. <laughs> like, like, crawling around <laughs> being a thing to deal with. <laughs> okay, I actually have awesome. a theory about that. I have a theory <laughs> about the fate of good old Michael. Um, and it's not completely solid, but it's tentative. Um, in the same way that, uh, uh, Glitch trap slash spring trap refuses to fully die. Um, I think that Michael is still hanging around, uh, not physical anymore. Uh, but I think his ghost has latched on to um, our Freddy, and I think that that's why Freddy has managed to maintain his sanity because Freddy says at the end that he that I'm not me. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think that that is supposed to be a direct parallel to It's Me from the first game um, with the Golden Freddy. Yeah. So I like that idea. That's my, that's my theory. Which I um, actually... It would also explain why he is so, like, dead set on protecting the kids. Um, yeah. That actually dominoes right into the next talking point I had, which was... Um, What's up with Freddy's AI? Because he seems fully sentient and not just an animatronic. In fact, it's all of them feel... It's Mikey. It's gonna make it. <laughs> it's, it's Mr. Benedict. <laughs> <laughs> He's back too. Everyone's back. They're just ghosts now. Well, what do you think? Um, what about the others? Because they kind of toe the line between AI and maybe... It's specifically like Roxy feels like... A, a sentient 
Like, why would you yeah. program a robot to feel an <laughs> ego? <laughs> it's like that one comic. <laughs> to cry. <laughs> I, it's like that one comic. Um, I, it's I, the only one I've seen is it's with Ironwood and Ozpin. And Ironwood's like, I made a robot that feels pain. And then you look over and there's Penny just screaming. And Ozpin's like, why? <laughs> and Ironwood just looks sad because he's like, why did I do that? So I was like, why would you program <laughs> Rossi to feel like like a fragile ego type of situation maybe they're all because they because okay that's another thing i I have so few theories i just have opinions (laughs) but we have theory the title of the video is we have theories and then twins has judgments (laughs) (laughs) but like okay so sentient animatronics Boring, bad, dumb. <laughs> Haunted animatronics. Interesting, cool, good. <laughs> like, yes. I'm tired of just murder bots. I want them to be ghosts again. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's it. But maybe they're all ghosts. I don't know mm-hmm. who they would all be ghosts of. Um, right, exactly. I don't mm-hmm. know. It's, it's definitely weird, isn't it? Because it's like, okay, we can figure out... Well, I, I assume that based on the events of the game, that there has been a ripple effect from Glitch Trap. So so Spring Trap is now Glitch Trap, um, but also still kind of Spring Trap. Um, and that he has influenced Vanessa. Mm-hmm. Was her name Vanessa? Uh, um, yes. And that she has hacked the, the system, and that the reason why the animatronics are being weird is because they've been hacked by Vanny. Great, cool. Um, But yeah, why were they, like, (laughs) sentient in the first place to some degree? Um, I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. I was wondering something. I was wondering if they're the same animatronics from the beginning. Like, technically, it's not actually a new animatronic. It's the same, I guess, let's go with haunted spirit just getting upgrades generationally. Mm. The only exception being the the toy animatronics, because I don't. Those ones never really acted haunted. Those ones did just feel like bad AI which, to me, at least. Which game? <laughs> which game was the toy ones? Two. Were two? Okay, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they we also had the old models still mm-hmm. in that game anyway. Yeah. Mm. So there was the the murder bots and the haunted <laughs> ones. So yeah. <laughs> the Maybe? doesn't the pile. That the the uh, pile with the head on it was it's, that was that the one that you were calling Molten Freddy? It's called the Blob on the wiki. It's oh, called the, the blob. blob. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Molten Freddy <laughs> shows up in uh, after one of the fires. <laughs> oh, okay. There's been multiple fires. <laughs> <laughs> That's I see. I see. Okay. So the Blob. He it has like the old bits of the other That's animatronics in it. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, why don't we call it the amalgam for That's this podcast? That's way better. That is significantly better. Yeah. <laughs> Much so, better. <laughs> so the amalgam has uh, uh, different animatronic parts in it. Like I think you can see like Chica. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah. so wouldn't the ghosts be in there? Right? Would, is it just like I think wouldn't so. it make more sense if you were a ghost attached to a body? That body got all melted and squished together. That you'd be in that new amalgam body, right? Yeah, and that's actually that's what I think. Um, I don't think that Eggs Benedict is in Freddy, but rather that uh, Glam Rock Freddy is just our original Freddy who has been haunted since the beginning, and that the amalgam, yeah, is everybody else, um, including the ghosts. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you and think that's why that... he's, and that's why he's the only one that Vanny and Vanessa can't like. Okay, like, like he is old, old with. code or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's like he's like running on VHS and everyone else is on Blu-ray, and so which is also why he runs out. And of she's power like, I can't in like hack this, seconds. and it's because he's like not even on the internet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so here's a here's a thing. Do we really think Vanny and Vanessa are two different people? Here's that's another. No, no, God no. no. I think they're the same person. They're just just one. Um. Because I saw a lot of... And so there's not twins. It's not twins. No. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> like an evil you. twin. It's Their like cutscene is just bad. They're not evil <laughs> twins. I, it, 
I don't. Yeah. <laughs> that was like her ghost. That was not. That was not another her. Yeah. That would yeah. make no <laughs> sense. That would make so no sense for it to be. Yeah, it's me, the evil twin. What? Why? It's like, one person. FNAF has avoided stupid stereotypes like that before. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be pretty dumb to bring that in now. I am upset about Vanny. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> because, okay, one. Why does it make the screen go weird? It's just a woman in a fursuit. Like, because that's the... When, at first, you see Vanny, and they skip across the screen, and Freddy doesn't spot Vanny, but Gregory does. I'm like, ah, it's like Techno Ghost. Because that's what, back when we called them Glitch Trap, that's what Glitch Trap was. It was like a spirit within the VR thing, and it was just Scooby-Doo and the... And the cyber chase, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and so I'm like, that's why Gregory can't see it. That's why it makes your screen weird. Because all these other animatronics are just animatronics, but Vanny's spirit thing. <laughs> but it's just a woman in a fucking fursuit. So why does she make the screen go weird? <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> also, that's all dumb. Because Techno Ghost was cool and interesting and spooky enough. And just a lady in a bunny outfit is stupid and not scary at all. And why are you wearing the stupid outfit? <laughs> I'm wondering if she is actually a real person or not. Because I am suspicious about that. Because I think she might be... The fact that, that your screen gets all weird when mm -hmm. she comes near you. I think she might be the possessed body of Tape Girl from... That is the Oh, yeah. I yeah. absolutely yeah. think that. So I yeah, don't, 100%. I don't think she is just a lady in a fursuit. Like, I think on the outside, in a material world kind of sense. But I think she's there's a spirit inside of her. And I think she yeah. is haunted. Technically. Yeah. And I, 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 maybe, I agree. Maybe. I wish that she wasn't literally, like, costumed in a, yeah, a suit. Yeah, so dumb. Cause, <laughs> cause, cause, okay, because, like, I agree. I think that she is absolutely possessed by a real ghost, mm -hmm. but I think that ghost is, like, <laughs> Put on the suit. Do it. Do it. And it's like, no, that's dumb. Because <laughs> because Gregory takes her head off at the end, and it's, it's Vanessa. Ah. So it's like it's it's a physical suit that she is wearing, and I wish it were instead like the ghost within her was manifesting in a way that just made it look like that. Yeah. Um, but I interrupted. Go ahead. No, you basically just said what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, sorry. I also <laughs> wish that that Vanny wasn't so d dumb because <laughs> so, glitch trap you know in the vr game like glitch traps weird they're awkward they sit in the corner they wave weirdly at you they, they the way they motion at you to enter the uh, like come on into these curtains where i'm gonna trap you it was creepy it was subdued and then it danced around at the end and it was it was like Joaquin Phoenix as the Joker, but like, it, it, you know, there was enough there for me to assume that Glitch Trap was a child. I had theorized that Glitch Trap was the s spirit thing of the kid from FNAF 4 that Afton was trying to keep his kid alive by putting him into some coding, question mark. Uh, but now Vanny is just, like, posing, and she's like, I'm a lady with boobies. I'm gonna press this button. I'm so cute. And I'm like, this is dumb. <laughs> You're not a... This is stupid. I didn't hurt her. <laughs> well, I, okay. Go I, you go ahead first, Allison. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think, because from the way you're describing it, it sounds like you are... You believe that Glitch Trap... For the the artist formerly known as Glitchtrap, um, uh -huh. is now Vanny. Like they are yeah. one in the same. Um, yeah. Whereas I was under the impression that Glitchtrap is Afton. Like that is his that is his ghost um, in VR. Uh, and the, the reason why he doesn't look like that in real is because that cannot manifest in real. So that's why he's still Springtrap in the game. Um, but that, that, that glitch trap has just influenced Vanny. So it's not, that's not literally the same person. It's Regardless of Van how this works, Vanny is 
anti-scary. That's I was, the I, biggest yeah. problem. <laughs> yes, I, I think that they're separate people, but I do agree. I don't think that Vanny is scary. Um, I don't think many things in this game are scary. No. Uh, well, but yeah, she in particular of... is not a threatening villain. Um, she seemed threatening at first, but the more you see of her, the less it... It, it diminishes very quickly. I have, like, regardless of if Vanny is literally the ghost of Glitch Trap or just influenced by Glitch Trap, Vanny is still just, at the end of the day, a woman in a fursuit. And it's just, when, cause, because Glitch Trap, who, regardless of how they're connected, they are connected. I thought Glitch Trap was a very interesting bad guy. And Vanny is not that in any way. <laughs> I, uh, I've, on what you said about it not being scary, I have never referred to Five Nights at Freddy's as a horror game. <laughs> that's why that's what it's technically called. FNAF 1? <laughs> FNAF 1's real scary. I've always that's Man, I miss thing. how scary FNAF 1 was. I really, really do. It was such a perfect little, so <laughs> intensely creepy game, and they've never really matched that. Yeah, um, it's because the first one, like, it leaned in so much on before the jump scare. Like, the scary mm -hmm. part is, like, when you first see them move, like, oh no, Chica's looking at me now, that's spooky. Yeah. The and then, anticipation, like, where are they? man. Where are they? I'm running yeah. out of power. I'm frightened. And yeah. then every other game has just been like, what? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I, uh, I'm yeah. always... Three seemed scary at first, and no. then, like, very quickly you realize, oh, it's not, it's not. scary at Three all. Is As not. Spring Trap, like, like, Shoulder <laughs> shuffles up to you, and that's his jump scare. And it's like, wow, yeah. Afton, really pulling out all the steps to get me. <laughs> I, uh, your rigor mortis can't let your arms move. <laughs> I'm gonna get you, son. <laughs> oh no! I uh, the scariest part of three are those like three screenshots of Springtrap, like opening up his head, yeah, yeah, yeah. and mm -hmm. like you can see Afton in there. Yeah. <laughs> I have always referred to Five Nights at Freddy's as a puzzle game wearing a <laughs> horror game's outfit. Just like how I would call <laughs> Shadow of the Colossus a puzzle game wearing an adventure game's outfit. Like, it's a puzzle game, let's yeah. be honest. Fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> Not entirely wrong, yeah. <laughs> um, I was gonna, oh yeah, back to Vanny. Um, you were talking oh, yeah. about, mm -hmm, you, were, mm -hmm. you were complaining about her, her not seeming childish enough. But actually, um, I was thinking about it. So at the end, when Glitch Trap uh, of a uh, VR simulator, whatever, at the end, uh, when you see Glitch Trap mm -hmm. doing their skipping thing across the screen, Vanny does yeah. that skipping thing at several points in time. And so I'm wondering if you could take that animation of Vanny pressing her button, because you seem to really not like that part. <laughs> I wonder if you took that animation, but like put it onto like Gregory's model, would it portray more childish rather than flirty mm, then, like how you like maybe the body is so just... you're, you're arguing maybe. that it could still read as childish it's mm -hmm. just because it's in the body of a woman that it looks like like yeah like like maybe i guess it doesn't help that i also don't like vanny's voice which is I'm a woman, but evil, ha 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 ha, I'm crazy. And I'm like, ah, it's not even interesting either. <laughs> oh, boo. <laughs> I mean, this is like the I guess second I game with Glitch voice Trap. <laughs> I liked Glitch Trap so much that I, I'm disappointed that it yeah. didn't really hold up <laughs> in my uh, eyes. <laughs> also, the fact that, like, the fact that Glitch Trap didn't talk <laughs> made him so Yeah, scary. Glitch Trap was so cool. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, I, I don't know. I think I think this game had so many good ideas. <laughs> but but boy oh boy, it's <laughs> um I I wish that they would just kind of look back at their other games and kind of like take note of what lent it scary or creepy factor. Yeah. And and expand on that. Um because yeah. sometimes I think that they they get so into like What's the character of this new animatronic? Like they're they're so wrapped up in creating these personas for these animatronics that it kind of it kind of loses what made the original special because we did that. Yeah. We made and we came up with our personas for these characters that we were seeing on screen. Mm -hmm. The when when you have like I don't know, just just overtly like Chica, um, 
feed this huge, huge, huge glutton. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it's kind of less fun than us putting together the like, oh, Chica's in the kitchen and the yeah. camera's dark <laughs> and you can hear like <laughs> sounds of chaotic feasting. I feel like yeah. that is a lot more interesting than, oh boy, I love candy and pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's, but that's just me. Thing. That's just a personal. Perhaps fewer like just references to old games. Like I think those are pretty neat. They're fun enough. Um, but perhaps it, it feels like so much of Pizzeria, of of what's it called? Security Breach. It feels like so much of it is just like, do you get this reference? Um, that it's like, where's your identity? You know, it's the, mm. the, the oh, it's the pizzeria mm. that I can't explore. <laughs> uh, the pizza plex. <laughs> it's a pizza plex. <laughs> Fake. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I do think. Does anyone have any outstanding thoughts on Gregory? Because. Oh my God. I, Gregory's so sus. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Because I don't, kid? <laughs> I don't give a fuck flying fuck about Gregory. I realized that. I was like, I was after, like, I wa- I watched Markiplier play. <laughs> and after he finished, I was thinking about it. And I was like, who is that kid? Why should I care? Why do I have to play as that boy? Well, I don't care about him. It is. <laughs> and so I'm wondering if anyone has any, like, theories on is he important or connected at all? Or is he just some orphan boy who somehow knows Vanessa before the game starts? It's also, it's like, it's interesting because when you get the prompt to leave or stay at six o'clock, he's like, if yeah. I leave, then people are, the kids are still going to go missing. That and it's was like, so yeah. like, like, you, wait, wait, okay. Cause, cause, okay, okay, okay. So the game starts and Gregory's like some like little rapscallion. And it's like, who's this suspicious child? Who's this sassy lost child? And then, <laughs> and then like we hit the end and he's like, no, Freddie, don't you understand? I've been in- investigating the murders this whole time. And it's like, Gregory, what? <laughs> Gregory win since also, when? Also, how does Gr- well, how Gregory do- the game starts with Gregory also already in Freddy. And yeah. so it's like, how did he get in there? Yeah. Did he okay. sneak in at okay. some other kid's birthday party or something? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so when how the game even first get started, pizza plex? <laughs> I, I had this like hack, hacky theory. Um, and I don't know, part of me still stands by it, but another part of me thinks it's ludicrously stupid um, <laughs> that uh, Gregory is not human. Gregor- Gregory is a robo boy. Um, and the biggest reason why I thought that was because every time Vanny comes near him, his vision gets really weird. Like, like mm. your human mm. human eyeballs are glitching out, and boy, that sure is strange. Making um, it feel like it would also Vanny explain... was an EMP kind of a thing. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Or just yeah. that she affects technology because she hacks the animatronics. So... I don't know. It just seems connected. Um, And also the fact that, like, I mean, he could just not have parents. uh, But, like, the fact that he doesn't, he's not on the record. And and he, he, in the epilogue of one of the endings, he's, like, like sleeping alone outside. And I don't know. I don't know. I... I don't know if I actually stand by my Gregory is a robo-boy theory. But, like, (laughs) there's something up about, about... why why is his vision affected by Vanny? Yeah. I actually as I, as a as a fleshy lad. I wonder <laughs> if I I'm suspicious on whether or not Gregory is actually a good guy. Cause like Oh my that's god, the thing. right? For so much of the game, you know, Freddy's like but they're my friends. And Gregory's like, well, I <laughs> ripped their arms off. Ripped their, yeah. their arms well, off. I you know, well, I wanted their eyeballs. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and it's not that he... First for real. It's not, he doesn't express, like, you know, a real reason as to why he wanted to rip their attachments out. It's not like Gregory needed that in order to stop Vanessa or anything. Yeah. So, and... Yeah, and, it's, and, it's just, it's very strange. It's very, um, it's a very mercenary attitude for a child to have of... Well, I needed the parts to complete my goal, so mm-hmm. I don't really care about your friends, Freddy. And uh Yeah, I he's very I expected Gregory to be like like Afton two or something and like 
I don't know, he's the pro- he's the one killing children or s- something, and his em- a lack of empathy towards the robots was like a hint towards that, but then in the canon ending, he's the good guy and the hero, so I don't know. <laughs> I think, actually, here's a thing I, I noticed, I saw this in the canon ending when he's sitting there on that hill with Freddy, so mm-hmm. they're sitting there, uh-huh. and I'm like, Freddy said he can't leave because he's not going to be able to recharge, he, like he will, mm-hmm. he will die sooner enough. Sitting on that hill yeah. is fine, but he's not gonna. Fu- he's gonna die. But then I was sitting there, and in that lighting, with that scene, fucking Gregory's blue shirt looks purple in that lighting, and so I'm like, I am suspicious. Purple is always mm. associated with the bad guy. I am suspicious. <laughs> mm. Maybe he is a a little secondary Afton. <laughs> I I that'd be fun if they explored that because otherwise I don't care like you know we kind of have this really well established family (laughs) of the Aftons you know with him and Eggs Benedict and Baby and everybody Um, and so like to just introduce Vanessa the nobody who just happens to be connected to Glitch Trap slash Vanny. And also Gregory, and it's like, and who is Gregory? Who is this boy? Maybe he's <laughs> like, why am I playing? Maybe he's like the son so, of Afton's shareholder person. No, the guy I we was were thinking about that too. Oh, uh-huh, what a definitely cute! Definitely like possible that. because that guy was like, I'm burning myself too, big B. Um, pretty selfish oh, yeah. of him to do if he also still has another child who uh, needed him. Um, a child who Maybe. is like how old? Like nine? <laughs> like how old is Gregory? Who if even, even doesn't <laughs> look doesn't look old enough that that uh, you should willingly leave him behind. Um, Maybe the wife was good, but then she like suddenly died and is like, I guess I'm an orphan. Maybe now. in a fire. <laughs> hmm. In a fire. <laughs> Everybody dies from fire. <laughs> I'm wondering if Vanessa is related to the Aftons somehow. Like, maybe she's, like, a daughter or a granddaughter or something. Because there are so many notes throughout the game implying, like, Vanessa doesn't seem qualified, but someone up top really wants her to have this job, so I guess we're going yeah. to listen. So I'm wondering if she is related or, like, married in or something like that to the Afton family. Definitely possible. I, um, uh, I thought it was just kind of, like, uh, circumstantial that she got caught up in all of this because okay so i think we're all on the same page that vanessa is tape girl Mm -hmm. yeah okay so so i think that it's just literally she was doing her job as the uh qa of this this weird game um her coworker gets completely annihilated Mm -hmm. um and she just kind of fell into she, she just kind of fell into it all. Um, and that like these, you're like, assuming she got the security job not because she was special, but just because she happened to be the one well, uh, infected with whatever the fuck? Well, I think, the game. Th- I think that there was never push from the higher-ups to get her into the security position. I think that um, because they have... Uh, when I say they, I mean Vanny slash Glitchtrap have this control over technology i think that all of the like push for her to get this job were uh entirely fabricated mm-hmm. all fake emails all that um especially since from what we saw with uh tape girl i think that some that to some degree they're able to mimic other people um because remember how some of the tapes from tape girl sounded weird yes um yeah, yeah. of like seemingly contradictory information um, I think that they can just do that. I think that that is part of the ghost hack powers. <laughs> Cyber ghost powers. <laughs> ghost um, hack power. Yeah. And so, yeah, I think that it's quite literally Vanessa had no qualifications and no real person was pushing for her to get this job. It was just all through hacking um, and ghost activity that she got put into this position. Do you think there is any relation to that and the Princess Quest games? Because oh yeah, for that's sure, another for thing. sure. Like she... she's like her real soul is in the game or, or something. something. Like glitch trap put it in there, or that's where her she goes when Vanny quote unquote takes over. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, I, Princess Quest ends in the the 
the weird room that you end end up locked in at the end of mm-hmm. yeah. VR Simulator. And that's how you... Yeah, so yeah. That's the only way to get the only three-star ending, is if you do the princess quest yeah. stuff. But mm-hmm. not the canon ending. Yes. Which is interesting. So <laughs> interesting. So yeah, canonically, Vanessa stays trapped. Yeah. But that's I guess fine. I don't care about her yeah. anyway. <laughs> well, I, I guess they because they're probably going to revisit this in the future. Um, so I can't imagine that they want like and this character's permafreed, you know. <laughs> do you yeah. <laughs> do you think Security Breach is gonna get DLC in the future? Because I think it's possible. I, I hope, hope so. so. I really, really yeah. hope so. I'd love to see more of the story. Cause I uh, I was on TikTok and I there was this one person I found and they were like explaining that the game is like 80 gigabytes or whatever and it's like for comparison breath of the wild is only like 3.5 gigabytes so it's like why is the game so big what's in there that might be why they're having so much trouble um with like it could all yeah lagging (laughs) lagging and gross popping you know yeah that just sounds have not (laughs) Done it. They might have, they might <laughs> yeah, not have that, like quality uh, assurance. It. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that sounds okay. Not to burst anyone's bubble because I also really, really hope that there's DLC or an expansion or anything more. Um, yeah. But that kind of reads to me as less than like like ooh, they're planning something big. There's something really big just hiding away, ready to go, mm-hmm. and more of. This is our first ever open world game, <laughs> and we structured it in a way that is not calibrated, um, s- streamlined, efficiently for good. efficiency. <laughs> I yeah. I'm willing to bet that this game makes the kind of mistake of like everything loads in at once. I was uh, yeah, I was gonna say because you I know, was like I works. wonder if they even have like specific loading areas. To, yeah. to maximize frame rate and stuff like that or if it's yeah, just like the whole thing is all all in one go because be. it's so <laughs> clunky yeah I, w- I was gonna say and i was thinking about mark's playthrough and how he was like let's turn that ray tracing all the way up and his computer was like falling apart yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> um and, but, but, and i was gonna say yeah i agree i i think literally the entire pizza plex was loaded up all at once. It reminds mm-hmm. me throughout your entire gameplay, and I think that's the only way they could figure out how to make the security system work. Right. Because you can go into your little watch and look mm. at cameras. Yeah, and exactly. So I think literally, everything is operating in real time. I, was, <laughs> I would yeah. love to see. Sorry, go ahead. I was reminded of um, uh, Yandere Dev, <laughs> the greatest <gasps> developer oh, yeah. of all time. <laughs> uh, how mm-hmm. it's like you have just spaghetti code for miles that could be crunched down yeah. to like three yeah. lines of code if you weren't so stupid and doing it this way yeah <laughs> uh so yeah that's what i think might be a part of it but also i do think there is room for dlc and expansions and whatever yes yeah <laughs> i mean the game's not done like let's be honest <laughs> they shipped a, a a mostly completed game <laughs> So there's absolutely room for them to make some DLC. Hopefully that DLC includes post-game, where you can explore the Pizza Plex during the day. Oh my gosh, I would about... die to see the Pizza Plex yeah. like, actually functioning. That would be so yeah. fun. That would be fun. Um, like seeing the animatronics put s- on a performance. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Um, what I was going to say was I would love if, um, and maybe, maybe he already has, um, Boundary Break. Or a channel like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I would love to see them explore this game. Because I want to see if we're right. And like how how this game works. Like, like does everything load up all at once? Or, you know? Um, yeah. What, I, what's the deal? <laughs> I'm kind of <laughs> reeling back into a theory territory again. What's yeah, with, yeah, yeah. What's with the tree? D- uh, the... So there's like a part the underground where there it looks like roots of like a tree or something, and then as you keep going down further, then you realize it's we're in like the original pizza pl- uh pizza parlor. Oh, the tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, like a yeah. Tree. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh! Mm. Also, the original pizza pizzeria, and like, also your like room down there from sister location is in there, right? But in like a it's, different. It's, yeah, that's why? the weird part. What is that mean? Was <laughs> Mikey just there? living in Michael? <laughs> <laughs> Were you just living in the pizzeria? That's so sad. Like, like an abandoned ass pizzeria. <laughs> what? It's I'm wondering Mike. if that room is just there to be. A reference, um, because that's also where you can listen to the tapes that detail Vanessa's therapy sessions. Mm. So I'm wondering if that's just reference room and not actually Eggs Benedict living down there. <laughs> I wonder if, if that is to- definitely possible, but it's a lot funnier for me to imagine that Michael was literally living <laughs> like in a shit abandoned facility. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with that. Also, he was a stinky rotting lad, so. Um, it's probably hard to get an apartment if you uh, look like a shambling corpse. I wonder if, playing off of uh, Allison, your idea that Michael is Glamrock Freddy, I wonder mm-hmm. if that's Glamrock Freddy sitting there watching his shitty show. Not <gasps> not in order, not canonically after every night we did, just like he's reminiscing on it while watching his show. I, I if love that. I mean. <laughs> that's so fun. If I put I'm going I'm to roll pat, with that. If I put my MatPat thinking cap on, <laughs> mm-hmm. then... Oh, the tree! There was a tree in that, like, JPEG <laughs> of, like, there are some gravestones. That's where we know the name Casey or Cassie comes from, I think. There's, like, mm. five gravestones. And one of them you can't see. And that one is 100% Golden Freddy. And, but there was a tree on that hill. So, clearly, the uh, building was built around the tree and that hill because I love talking about this JPEG of the hill <laughs> with the... That's what MatPat would say. Um, <laughs> that's my MatPat theory <laughs> about tree. <laughs> I think there's gotta be... There's- but, uh, but I'm... I'm trying to think, like, were there any other notable plants ever <laughs> in... in um, in any of the games. It's weird that it would just be, like, a tree. And that's, like, where Vanessa's, is, like, like murder dungeon is, where she has, like, a bunch of... Well, that's another thing that kind of hints at Vanny being kind of childish. Is that, like, whole, like, under the stairs area that was her, like, headquarters, whatever, it's filled with, like, pictures and notes and stuff. But a lot of them is just, like, drawings, like, crayon-esque drawings and stuff. So, oh, that's fun. I, wonder, I didn't pick up on that. I wonder if those are her hmm. ch- child glitch trap machinations down there. There's also something Wouldn't written- Wouldn't it be wild? <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> There's also something written in binary, and Mark was like, because I, I also watched this book, he was like, hey, someone translate that. And I was like, I will! Mm-hmm. And then I typed it all into my phone, and then my phone was like, I don't know what the fuck you're trying to tell me. <laughs> like, Aww. I guess there's no binary <laughs> translator on Google. <laughs> There a trillion percent is. I didn't find it, and then I, I didn't want to type it. I think it you just have to. I think you just have to Google binary translate. Maybe first. Yeah, Instead as of opposed just to just putting it into zeros. the search bar. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be like wild me, if like if, me googling a word and expecting <laughs> Google to translate that into Japanese for me? <laughs> <laughs> Oops! <laughs> like with no indication that that's what you're looking for. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah i don't know i have no idea about the tree i'll have to think about it more that's a that's a whole thing that's a whole weird thing is it a tree is it a or tree? is it like or is it something else yeah it's hard it's hard to because why is it all down there because there were so many notes being like hey there's something taking power down below the pizza plex and then it's the the old establishment so why did we just layer it on top? I know it burned down, but why did we bury it and then layer on top of it? Could it I be that it's, it's a that synthetic I've... tree? Like, that it is just a method of, like, funneling power or something? Maybe. But I think it's also implied that it's Afton specifically that is taking up all that power. Mm-hmm. He's mm-hmm. Fixing, fixing his grody body, But yeah. I think. That's my theory. But why? Well, why I mean, he was top? he was in a pod. I think that's the only way he can like stay upright at this point. <laughs> so is it like another power pod, like how Freddy needs, like a charge up? Pod? Yeah, yeah, like in, yeah. In the that's cut that's scene. my thought. Like, yeah, 
it's a power pod and it opens and his hand and everything turns purple and it's like I'm back and it's like uh oh. So is Bert trapped? <laughs> what and I wish. Freddy's the only ones who need to recharge like that. Because none of the it others. Seems like it. Hmm. The plot hmm. But <laughs> like it seems like it just through what we get to see. I think it's implied that the others do also need to recharge. Yeah, um, that's the thing that makes the most sense. Like, why would everyone yeah. else be like, oh, I have solar. <laughs> I have wind turbines. Uh, and, and it's like unless, Freddy's. <laughs> unless Allison is like, right. Um, and you know, Freddy has to recharge because he also has person in him. Mm. Like, because that, like Afton. That's another mm. reason. Because... Because they've got, like, that, like, fucking spirit goo that played a big role in the books, I think. Oh, yeah, um, and I think it was implied to have been a huge part of Sister Location as well, even though it wasn't, like, mentioned by name. Yeah. Is yeah, that, residuum so maybe, or maybe something. It's, maybe that's what it is. It's spirit goo pods, but they're just pretending that it's electricity. Tying mm-hmm. into your theory. <laughs> remnant. Remnant? Remnants? <laughs> I think it's yeah, called Remnant. It's called. Uh, yeah. Tying into your half-ish theory, Allison, about Gregory being a robo boy, it's weird yes. that Freddy can enter the pods with Gregory inside of him. Because you would think if it is an electrical charge, you think yeah. he'd get kind of fucked up in there, <laughs> being in his right. Right. Like, right. Like, like I was thinking to... that, like, why? Why isn't this like fucking with Gregory? Like, <laughs> like why doesn't this mess with his like? Like, is this giving him <laughs> horrible radiation poisoning or something? I don't. <laughs> I was thinking about it kind of like, you know, kind of like, um, you, uh, ultraviolet light that you, you do your nails in, Mm -hmm. you know, you plug that into a wall, but you don't die from doing, putting your hand in there. You could get a sunburn. Like, it's not great for you, but, (laughs) you know, like, maybe. Definitely possible that it's just neutral. (laughs) Maybe for once, Glamrock Freddy is just actually competently built. <laughs> yeah. For, for the first time. Well, it would make sense if if his, like, internals did have some sort of protective shield because he, he, the intended design is to keep, like, cakes and edibles in there. And so it's is like, that... if you let the electricity, like, fry the cake. <laughs> it just explodes inside and of more him. more importantly, <laughs> if... if if the intention is, oh, Freddy's got a chest cavity for cake, wink, and to steal <laughs> children, um, yeah. then it's like, well, I don't want a dead kid. <laughs> that keeps going I really wrong every time that happens. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, does anybody have any outstanding theories about Monty? Because I feel like we could come up with one, but I have zero. I, absolutely I not. Think, Monty's just a just a big guy. <laughs> just one of them. Just a the, the guy. Thing, the reason I bring him up is because, well, one, it's implied that he um, is the one that decommissioned Bonnie. I've heard mm-hmm. theories that actually it was Fanny getting the staff bots to do it, and they just did it in Monty's area. Regardless, they'd still replaced Bonnie with Monty, and then also when Vanessa is heckling Freddy... Uh, right before you do your first upgrade with him. She's like, I'll decommission you, and we'll have Monty sing lead, and so you better behave. And I'm like, why pick Monty? (laughs) Of all of them. Why pick Monty? And so I'm like, so I I just wonder, because Vanessa and the higher-ups keep seeming to be like, I want him. I want him in charge. Uh, So I wonder if it's because he's the most (laughs) aggressive one. Mm, Like, he lunges. So maybe having the most maybe they think one. an alligator, maybe they think an alligator is just cooler. <laughs> maybe <laughs> like maybe um, it's literally just, maybe it's like a marketing <laughs> thing. It's like the bunnies are bad, the bears are bad, the fox has gone completely awry. Gator, new new face. They didn't like Mr. Hippo. Make it a gator. Just <laughs> marketing. <laughs> yeah, it, it totally could be like that whole like change of face thing. Like like how sometimes companies will change their names. After a big scandal, in order to like, yeah. to like mask that, mm-hmm. um, so it literally could just be for the sake of rebranding. Um, Monty like how, um, is totally uh, new, right? Mm-hmm. There's never yeah. been the only other like reptilian esque animatronic was the frog, Flappy Frog. The frog, oh, <laughs> Froggy. <laughs> um, I hated that, <laughs> and that's it. Uh, <laughs> 
Uh, so maybe it's if there is any connection to these other animatronics and the ghosts, um, maybe Monty is like purely uh, like totally brand new, not at all haunted. And so like uh, Fazbear Entertainment is like, push this one, push mm-hmm. this one, because we know we're not going to have any weird fuck ups with this completely <laughs> new AI. Um, oops, it's a little bit aggressive. Oh, well. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Just launching his yeah. body across the fucking world. <laughs> yeah, he's he's interesting for sure. Um, I love that the Faz Blaster doesn't work on him because he's got sunglasses. It's <laughs> so That's funny. The, it's the greatest thing on Earth. It's, it's, it's amazing. 10 out of 10. Perfect um, game. Uh, <laughs> I, no I, flaws. I, I don't you know, think... Another th- he, uh, I go ahead. I don't you think go he ahead. killed Bonnie. I don't think he decommissioned Bonnie. I think it's implied he did, but I think it's a cover up, because I do think mm. it was Vanessa to get like like that thing. You got to get the Bonnie parts to give to William, so he can mm. live again. <laughs> I think uh, because if if Monty did actually destroy another animatronic, then that would mean he would have to get decommissioned too. Right? Because it's like, you're fucking up. <laughs> Can't be ruining know. our other animatronics. Sun, <laughs> Possibly. Sun are awfully, uh, I don't know, yeah. fighty. <laughs> Fazbear Entertainment like... isn't necessarily known for their, like, um, <laughs> stellar business practices. <laughs> so, not what necessarily. What the higgledy piggledy? I just, <laughs> what, what does Music Man <laughs> in the vents? Why is he even there? <laughs> like security. Is he just some? Is he just some spooky thing that crawled out from like the under zone and he's like, <laughs> or is or did they put him in there? I'm, he looks horrible. I wonder <laughs> if maybe he was supposed to stay in the big vents that DJ Music Man has, like those big ones that he crawls through. Yeah. But I wonder because he's so small, he just got into a vent, and then they're like, "Fuck, we lost it. It's gone. I can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just in the vent. <laughs> it just got away." And they're like, "Okay, make it real big next time so it can't hide." Like when you have like a hamster, and the, the hamster gets lost. Rat, it's like rat robo in the vent, <laughs> crawling around, still clashing its little sandals. <laughs> um. Uh, does also anyone have? Because, like, why did the animatronics look dirty and shitty? I was you just know, about like, to st- start talking about that. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, like, you okay. start the game, and they're all, like, pretty and glossy and nice. And at first it made sense with Chica, because Chica's rummaging around in the garbage to eat pizza, like the fatty she is. Chubb <laughs> 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 <Job laughs> ass <Chica>. she is. <laughs> But they all, and, like, maybe if after you upgraded Freddy, like, that dirtied him up, I'd understand. But they, all of them just progressively get shitty looking. Well, and and it's like, why? It makes sense with Roxy, because she's, like, continually jumping into her raceway, so maybe she's, like, getting, like, grease and shit on her, and then she walks through that room that's filled with fire, so maybe, like... But she looks, <laughs> look, she looks all bad and stuff, even well before she, you know, you do your, your boss fight with her. Maybe Vanessa isn't doing a very good job at cleaning up the animatronics. <laughs> maybe it's because they also keep saying that they are firing all their staff and replacing them with staff bot. Yeah. The staff bot, like the mop bot, is just like, I don't know how to <laughs> clean the animatronics. <laughs> I, I've been programmed to do this. <laughs> just mop. <laughs> two theories. I have Let's two theories about about the steadily grotifying robots. Theory number one, I think that there are actually two models of each bot. Um, and, and that there is a stage bot and then, and then like just the roaming regular ones that we see. Um, and I think the nice clean ones are the ones we see in the intro and they perform. Um, and then those just get put away. Um, and that these ones that are roaming are literally for security purposes. Um, because, because why not? Uh, but I don't stand by that theory super hard because I have another one that I think is better. Um, that in that I think that the energy siphoning stuff that's going on, I think that that's like affecting the bots too. That combined with the, the hacking, I think that they are, that what we see isn't so much as like dirt as they are literally degrading throughout the, mm. throughout the night. I think, mm. I think that that they're they're corroding, not dirty. Interesting. Um, Interesting. Yeah. 
Oh, I think I like that. <laughs> I don't know if I buy it. I think it's a fun theory. I don't agree with your first one because you can enter Roxy's room, remember? And she's like, yeah. Freddy, get out of my room. Absolutely. It fine. makes way less <laughs> it makes way less sense. It was just kind of the theory I had at the very beginning of the game, so I felt like it was worth mentioning. Mm-hmm. It's um, a neat theory. Imagine if there were all of them, <laughs> you know, like you got clean Roxy and dirty <laughs> Roxy, yeah. and that's what they're called because <laughs> they need to be designated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, absolutely. Um, did you know that uh, Freddy and Chica have bowling balls in their rooms because no, they I missed didn't. Bonnie and Bonnie had the bowling alley? Oh, Yay. oh no! Oh, that's sad. That's sad. Freddy's is like oh. you, you can see it pretty easily, but Chica's is like hidden behind something, and everyone's can we like, "Talk about how good Freddy's voice acting is!" Oh, he's so good, really good. Freddy! Oh he, my goodness, that actor, uh, whoever whoever is doing the voice for Freddy, manages to inject so much like genuine emotion and like warmth and sadness Mm -hmm. into his performance like 10 out of 10 great job like whenever anything bad happens to Gregory and he's like I'm so sorry he (laughs) sounds like really fucking sad and like when you go sometimes it's kind of weird like when you get I got a boring Mr. Hippo magnet (laughs) Gregory I'm so sorry. Like, yeah, like he's out. way more sad about it than Gregory. <laughs> Absolutely. And then like like when when you um uh go to Bonnie's old place, um like, uh, and yeah. Freddie and talks like, about like I don't come here much anymore because I I'm sad because I miss my friend. And it's like no. I definitely think his performance oh. was the biggest factor into endearing glam rock Freddy. Because at first, because I was yes. also like, and yeah. when the game started, I was Absolutely. like, nope, I do not trust yep. you. I don't want to yeah, be Yeah, I, I don't trust this bear. <laughs> and instantly. Fake ass. <laughs> instantly he <laughs> With your fact. fake kindness. <laughs> Fun fact about Freddy and Chica as well. In the opening cutscene, when Freddy, like, short circuits and passes out or whatever, uh, n- not only is Chica the first one to notice that something's weird, uh, but you can also see her approaching Freddy when he, like, falls no um, yeah because uh, they're friends it seems. we need a there's surprisingly no theories about Ch- after we confirmed that there is not a person inside of chica in the first game mm-hmm. there's been no chica theories since then and i think she's it's underrated. hard to work with it's hard to work with chica as well as the other bots because it's like i can be like oh maybe michael's in and Freddy, but like, who would be haunting Chica? And like, like at this point, like post the fire, post all of the kids being released. I don't know. Maybe maybe the ghosts of vengeance came back, um, because Afton got away. But like, why would they? Then, then none of their actions make sense. So it just doesn't make much sense for like the yeah. other animatronics to be haunted. And that's kind yeah. of the most like like you were saying, twins, about um about like the the difference between just killer animatronics versus ghosts. Mm-hmm. If there yeah. isn't a ghost or like something more connected to that in regards to an animatronic, there's not a ton to work with there in terms of theories. So like I'd like to come up with theories about Chica, but Yeah. And like she's it's, not giving me much to work with. Especially, like, especially since Chica's also like the, the least aggressive like mm-hmm. she's the first one you f- fight that's in air quotes um but like and you know she you want some candy and you know she'll she'll scare you and everything and grip grab you and whatever it is but the other two like roxy and monty are like you're a little punk i hate you nobody likes you mm-hmm. <laughs> and she goes chica feels the most like just an animatronic <laughs> um because her lines are like it's weird that she names you. Like, she's like, Gregory, but, you know, she's like, do you want some candy? The staff are here to help. Let's eat pizza. Yeah. And, like, that's it. Like, she doesn't, uh, unless if she's saying Gregory's name, it doesn't seem like she's explicitly, like, cognitive in any way. Um, Except for when it comes to the other end, like, Freddy and Bonnie. That's the only time yeah. where it's seen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Weird. It's so there's, weird. there's just nothing to work with. Which she Chica's just just a victim in all of this. She's yeah. just also here. <laughs> and the fact that we don't get a chance to see um 
or uh, maybe maybe at the very beginning when you're crawling through the vents, maybe that's their true personas. Um, mm -hmm. But we don't get to see the animatronics before they get hacked. Mm -hmm. So we don't really yeah. get even a read on like what they're truly like. So, and even then, in the vents, uh, 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 Monty's already going ballistic. Yeah. Like, oh he's boy, he's having a, a time. Boy. <laughs> maybe that's why he's so destructive. Uh, maybe it's because he's already been. Yeah. In I absolutely it think is. so. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. So, I I have a theory of what the original plan of the game was. This isn't a lore theory. <laughs> this is a gameplay okay. theory. Okay. What's your that's gameplay? Still a theory. My theory. <laughs> Because the final boss, like, when Afton is here and you have to, like, close the door for Chica and hide from Roxy, they're just suddenly down there. And I don't think Monty shows up, but I'm not sure. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, my theory was that originally it was going to be Freddy that you have to defend yourself from. Because he's got everyone's upgrades. Um, and, oh no, my hubris. Why do my actions have consequences? <laughs> now, Freddy is the problem. And you have to defend yourself from Fredbear. But uh, then they ran out of time. <laughs> then So they just did what they did. <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah, agree. Was... Especially <laughs> since, like, like, the whole sequence does involve him being controlled by Afton. Yeah. So it's like... Like, perhaps there was a thing where it's like, oh, you run from Freddy here and, like, hide behind a door and, and oh, no, but he's busting through with his claws that you gave him. And he, <laughs> he sees can where see you, you are <laughs> because of the eyes that you gave him. And it's like, I don't know, yeah, that could be, like, especially since the audio, or I don't know why I phrase it like that, the dialogue um, <laughs> implied that, like, there was going to be a... Uh, uh, that 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 was gonna come to a head because because Gregory's like, uh, I found it. Yeah, <laughs> when, yeah, yeah. When, yeah. when Freddy's <laughs> like, where where Gregory? Where did you get Monty's still beating heart? And Gregory's like, um um <laughs> um, he dropped it on the ground. I just pay, I didn't even know it was his. Like you just kind of assume. <laughs> And there's like and there's yeah, like a lot somewhere. weird like just with the canon <laughs> ending in general like like I was saying earlier Freddy's not gonna survive because he needs to recharge so it's just yeah. it's really weird it's really mm. weird <laughs> it is <laughs> um well, is that one all? of the not canon endings kind of implies that there are alternative ways to charge Freddy. Yeah, because in one of them you keep his head. Just, weird. Because yeah. <laughs> they just they just jump started his body with the car. I so, guess. Like your electricity know, that just, also makes what, sense. So. What car? What family's car is Gregory gonna jump start? <laughs> I really? found this car, just, Gregory. <laughs> Sorry, should have just not <laughs> mentioned it because that's the thing. At six a.m., he's like, oh, "I can't leave. I need to." It's, just don't mm -hmm. be like, "I can't leave." I need to do my shows, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Just don't mention the power, because clearly that's not actually a problem. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't think... worry, Freddy, we'll find you a real big battery somewhere. I don't think there's a lot of information missing. And that's why I really would like to see DLC, so they can, like, actually address it. <laughs> yeah. It also makes it kind of hard to theorize, because it becomes difficult to be like, was this an intentional thing? Or is that a limitation? Mm -hmm. You know, was was this the plan, or is this just what hap had to happen because yeah. of you know lack of time or whatever? Like it's um, so or yeah. like with the sun and moon, is this an intentional thing, or is this just like lack of foresight? Yeah, um, and mm -hmm. it's really really hard to tell, and it is a little bit frustrating um, because this is kind of the first FNAF game where that's been the case, like. Like, yeah. say what you will about, like, like your least favorite FNAF game, whatever it may be. Um, but they were all very polished. Mm -hmm. um, they and at so least it appeared is... polished. You know, right. like, if there were any problems, it was hidden. Mm -hmm. Everything that we saw in the other games felt very, very intentional. And so it is kind of like... I, I you You don't... You don't really know what you can take from it, and and we've just never had to deal with that before. Yeah, which I think is probably a bit because Security Breach has like re 
ignited the fandom suddenly. That's like, the true. Games have that been is true. That is out. definitely a pro of it. And but now everyone's talking about it. And I think a big part of it is also how charming the characters are. Like all of them, and mm-hmm. these new animatronics are very nice and fun and entertaining. Yeah. But also, I think yeah. the there are big empty like gaps in uh, information that we can theorize about. Because like it's it's easy for me to sit here and be like, I think Sun and Moon are two different animatronics because of their fingers. But then there is like, why uh-huh. is there a fucking tree? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, and there, it's generating a lot of discussion about. Why? How? <laughs> it certainly allows for them to, like, okay, now we make a second game, and this pizza plex is under a big tree. <laughs> you know? Like, there's an even to, bigger it, it gives them. Plex. <laughs> if they don't make DLC, then that means that we can expect to find more answers in the next game, mm-hmm. as opposed to previous installments where every game was introducing new questions and answers at the same time. Um, this game has co- created a lot of questions and answered very little of them. Yes. And the answers mm-hmm. we got don't make sense yeah. a lot of the time. <laughs> yeah. The biggest thing that we got was probably not a surprise to a lot of people because most people didn't spend a long, long time crafting a careful theory video about why you're all wrong, actually, and Springtrap <laughs> isn't William. It's actually Michael who has been double impaled from both sides. Pretty rough, buddy. Um, <laughs> but, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, we at least got a confirmation that Springtrap is like, oh no, that's purple guy. Yeah. Um, that's, so, uh... so that's that's something. Um, but yeah, I would, I, I thirst for more. Like, let's not all pretend that the reason why we care about this series, Mm -hmm. um, as much as I love the horror elements and would love, love, love to see that expanded upon and improved upon, we're here Mm -hmm. for the lore. So, Mm -hmm. (laughs) so give us something Uh. to work with. (laughs) So I'm really excited to see, I hope there's a lot of theory videos that get generated from uh, security breach. I know I will actually sit myself down and actually watch Matt Pat's video this time. Videos is all five parts that he comes out with because it's <laughs> definitely going to be something like that. <laughs> if I watch them, it would just be because he's good at collecting information. Yeah. I'll give him that. Like, watching his videos is a good way to make sure you have everything you need mm-hmm. to craft your own theory because what it'll be it's him spending three videos telling you all the shit that it's like and there's this and this and this and then the fourth video uh, is 15 minutes of him recapping what he's already said yeah. and then five minutes of his theory that there are a million afters <laughs> and that wario is 10 feet tall so it's like <laughs> Yeah. But not, not only just <laughs> but they are not only just they're good pack, resources. But like any other theory video like I am now like that's why I wanted to make this podcast cuz I'm now on the hunt for more theories and I'm desperate for everyone in the comments to leave your theories whether you agree or disagree no matter how fucking off the wall they seem tell me your theories cuz I want yes, I yes. want all of them. <laughs> okay, yeah. like real talk. Real talk. We will not make fun of you for if your theory is, like, weird. Because mm-hmm. my theory is, was, well, <laughs> a theory <laughs> I had was literally that Gregory is a robo-boy. So, yeah. like, <laughs> like you can say anything here and there will be no judgment. Because I want to hear it. Because, yeah, Clear. I... Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I expected you to be done talking. Sorry. <laughs> I, I was basically done. It was basically just going to be that thing where I repeat the beginning half of my sentence of like, go for it, guys. Because that's how because that's how they them. taught us how to write essays. You start with something, yeah. you set your piece, you repeat yeah. yourself. <laughs> Absolutely. It's in oh, my brain forever say, and ever. Critter, yes. what is your most ridiculous crack theory um, on par with or even more ridiculous then Gregory is a robot. <laughs> it really was the 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 sun and moon are two different animatronics. That was the one where I was like, this is the one I am most confident about because I have two pieces of information that hint towards it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> what were you, twins? Uh, I'll go with my 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 crack my crackiest of crack theories is that. Um it's that Monty is actually uh, uh, <laughs> the angry, <laughs> the angry endoskeleton of 
Ballora. <laughs> Ballora? Ba- Ballora <laughs> is inside Monty. Isn't Ballora wow. Afton's wife? And, and she's mad. Isn't wait, that's wait, why we're bringing this up at the very end. <laughs> Isn't it? Well, I, mean, I just made this up. <laughs> I know, <laughs> but like. <laughs> I'm making them letting people feel comfortable <laughs> with their own ridiculous theories. So yeah, Monty is actually Ballora. I would have gone with you them. You can't. You can't prove me wrong. I, uh, isn't Ballora <laughs> Afton's <can't>. wife? I <laughs> Yes, and she's mad. <laughs> I would have gone with Fun Time Foxy, personally. Or Mangle. I wanted to pick the most ridiculous one. That was the fucking point. Mangle's <laughs> pretty ridiculous. <laughs> right, it wasn't supposed to actually be believable. It was it's not a funny. real theory. <laughs> the idea was, don't worry, it doesn't matter how silly your theory is, we won't make fun of you. <laughs> like this. And then you guys laughed at me. <laughs> I was I that laughed was the because point. it was fun. It was just, of all I of them. What you were doing. I understood. I wasn't expecting Ballora. <laughs> I was I, I was trying to, I'm like, what is an animatronic? And I just thought of Chica. And I was like, pick a different one. And I was like, Hippo. And I was like, pick a different one and hurry. <laughs> but that would be great, though, because, like, what if it was Chica? Because because, because there's, like, a whole other Chica there. But it's yeah, like, no, 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 like, no. Chica was... isn't. Chica isn't in Chica, stupid. That'd be dumb. Chica's in the alligator. <laughs> Duh, obviously. <laughs> You can tell because Chica loves sunglasses. Yes. Duh. <laughs> Chica it likes to so eat. in the appendices of one of the books, you can't prove me wrong because you haven't read any of the books, all of you, every single one of you. None of you have read the books, including me. Correct. <laughs> so I think that's the end of this podcast. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> Thank you all. Very cohesive. For, yes, I, <laughs> an appropriately unhinged ending. <laughs> Just like I was like, I want a random conversation, and this was about what I expected. I don't think I could make yeah. chapters for this podcast because there's no structure. <laughs> oh God, I'm no. glad. I'm glad you two actually had theories, because <laughs> all I had was opinions. Theories, and not just like a checklist of, and I wish this game was good. <laughs> yeah, and desperately, these past couple of days leading up to the podcast, I was like, think of a theory, and I could think of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Leave your thoughts and opinions and all your theories in the comments below. Ah. Uh, and I'll read off my $10 patrons' names is now. Nako, James Dodds, Cool Duck, Andrew, Ramiel, Valhalla Knight, Chamomile, G Extreme, Classy Critic, Morja Pendragon, Sunny Shy, Great Bar, Caleb Grimm, Pentimenta, Jake, Storm, Amber, Lolith, Livid Ares, Hype Man, Luno, Zero to Hero, Keithan, Isaiah, and Joshua. And that, there we go. They're great. <laughs> Thank you, patrons. Yeah, you're Thank all fantastic. Thank you, patrons. Uh, yeah, any and all thoughts and theories and opinions, leave them in the comments. Um, d- What's your favorite version of Freddy? Yeah. There's like 15. <laughs> What's your favorite version of Spring Trap? Of Blank Trap? <laughs> trap Trap. It's just like a yeah, bear yeah. trap, but with bunny ears. Yeah. <laughs> It's just his jaw. That's all that's left after he keeps the grating. <laughs> My FNAF is like, it. wow, Afton, you're amazing. <laughs> Real scary you're guy. You're so scary. Watch out. He'll get you with his chompy jaws if you put your foot in his chompy jaws. No. <laughs> all right. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Adios.